What's up, everybody? This is Bill. I'm going to go over a review here for you on an app. Uh, what I have here today is Floating Browser Flux. Now, my buddies over at GPC, they sent me the full version of this for my HTC One S for me to try out and see how I like it. I absolutely love the app. It's a great feature. So uh, you can check out my videos and watch some of the other stuff that they do and how customizable you can really make your device. But this video is just going to be for floating browser flux. So let's hit the home screen and let's go ahead and let's launch internet floating browser. So you can see here I have a browser page open. Okay. Now this will this app will the free version allows you to open two browser pages. The full version allows you to open I think up to six. So you can also open it from up here in your bar. So your drop down bar you have the option to open it up from there. So you can see how I did that there. Okay. So now we can uh, minimize that. We can minimize it right back up here. Open it right back up. It's very quick, very snappy. You have uh, bookmarks. So you can get to your bookmarks. Okay, you can close your bookmarks. You have this right here. Settings. Uh, capture, which is a screenshot of just what you're looking at here within the floating browser. Not your entire home page and everything. You have home, new window, new tab. And then you have your settings options. So if you come into your settings, you can see here, floating settings. Now this will be quite a bit different, screen orientation, stuff like that. Uh, browser settings, you can pick who it is that you want to use. Uh, so user agent, of course I'm using, uh, let's see here, user agent. So you know, I'm using, we'll go with desktop, iPhone, iPad, Froyo, Honeycomb. So then you have the text encoding. Uh, plugins, have them on on demand. So you can see how that all looks. It's pretty nice. It's got a lot of settings here. Uh, browser settings. Let's see here. Floating settings. Web catch, screen orientation, monitor clipboard, quick notification launch. So you can see here. So I can go right back here and I can look in my notification bar. I can launch it from there. You see it's loading back up here, so you can see I still have access to my home page back here in the background. I can now open apps, I can do whatever I want, I can open up my calculator back there. We can minimize that real quick, use the calculator. So you can see how that is. And then we can come right back to it, open it up, so it's right here beside it. So say if you were trying to figure out some math on a web page, you're getting ready to place an order, oh, how much does that cost? Well, you can read it right there. So, what you can do with Floating Browser is grab down here at the corner. The bottom corner lets you resize, so you can resize that to any size you want. So, I can resize my browser, use my calculator. There's my total. Come back to my browser. I have enough in the bank to order that. I'm going to go ahead and order it. Another cool feature about Floating Internet Browser is the idea of this say I would like to hit the menu button open a new window boom new window opened so now we can go in here let's go check out YouTube Let me close this over here both these are fully functional we can look at my uh, custom paint on my Nexus 7 that I did if you guys haven't checked that out, you need to go check it out. What's up, everybody? This is Bill. So you can see there, I've got my video playing right there beside it um, I've seen while I'm reading on a browser on here. That have posted videos of and it does support so you see here, I've pinch to zoom. Uh, Works perfect. And what I'm gonna do like it should. Is, like many others, Again, the full version. The, I got uh, screenshot. Logo that is, uh, that's uh, embedded in here. You got this that constantly is scrolling up here when you're on a web page, so you can see the headline up here scrolling. Flash supported on it. Logo looks like so, and then I have these Sharpie 
See so here, I hit my home button, I'm back at home. So you could open this up in the middle of the game, say if you use an app like Wave Launcher or stuff like that, you'd be able to open this up in the middle of a game. So we can also, uh, let's see if we can fast forward this, we can pause it like that. We can jump to the middle of the video here. See how good my Wi-Fi is going to be. Like this. So you can see here. So it works quite well. There's a lot of features on it. This allows your uh, device to be a lot more customizable. Uh, if you're looking at devices such as, uh, say, the uh, Galaxy Note 10.1, how it does its split screen features. This allows you to do exactly what that does as far as some of the split green features. Having a browser here. So you can see there, floating internet browser is pretty cool. Anyways, uh, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go download this app. And we just messed up. Have a great day. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. All right, everybody. I wanted to show one more quick feature on Super Internet Floating Browser. I've had already up to 10 browsers open on my HTC One S. So you can see that these are all individual browsers that are open. I'm not sure what the limit is, but I've had 10 of them open. This is the full version on my HTC One S. So I hope you enjoy my review. I know this video quality right here is not the best. I'm on the webcam on my laptop. Anyways, subscribe to my channel. Click on the links in the description. Go check out Floating Browser. And uh, go purchase the full version. These developers work really hard on this. I support them 100%. And I hope you will too. Have a great day. Thanks for subscribing. What's up everybody? This is Bill. Uh, I'm glad you are subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, continue to watch my videos. Uploading new stuff every couple days. I find all kinds of stuff to upload. I try to keep YouTube busy. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me uh, right over there on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me right up that way on Twitter and right over there on Facebook. And I'm also on Google Plus right there. Anyways, hope you continue to watch my videos. Uh, go ahead and give me the like button. Give me the thumbs up. Uh, hit that plus one button down there. And uh, make sure you read my description. I try to keep important information down there. Anyways, stay tuned for more videos. Deuces. Thanks for subscribing.